this time on Woody's garage, another greeny weenie. Okay, we're back on this Craftsman lawnmower. Uh, something I didn't do was to uh, clean out the primer. I'll show you what I mean in a second. Well, this is one I had in the pile, not the one that was on it, but what you need to do is like squeeze that side and squeeze this side. Um, so you can pop that thing out. Yeah. Stiff as a board. Ah. Let's see if I can loosen it up. Yeah, I can kind of get it like pushing it on the ground here. Get the screwdriver in there. In there. Just get beyond the tab. I already got this side. Okay, we'll get that sucker out of there. Inside there you see a screen. This doesn't actually look too bad, this one. But this isn't the one that was on there. Maybe I should use it. You'll see that there's a hole through the primer there let the air in. This one's pretty supple. Might be a good candidate to put back in. Let's take the one that was in it out and look at it. Yeah, here's the one that was in there. You can kind of see it's it's pretty dirty. But not wicked dirty. It's kind of what I expected to see. But, uh, you know, enough dirt will keep it from working properly. I'm still not sure what, the, what I did with the original one. I'm going to look around for that. So we got three of them now. And I'm going to blow them out. Okay, I'm trying to get uh, like some air through here to blow through the screen. I know you can pull a screen out too, but I don't really think you need to. Problem with these things, they got so many little nooks and crannies that dirt sticks in. It's kind of a pain in the neck. So I'm just going to continue and get these about as clean as uh, possible before we reassemble. Also getting a wire right through here. You can kind of see. Well, it's kind of a narrow passage, you know. I think blowing it out is probably the best. Which we're doing. Okay, well the PB blaster isn't really cutting the crud on it. Let's put a little gas on it. The black one looks clean, but it's black. <laughs> I'll let that soak on there like a little bit. Okay, we're going to go with this one, I think. It's fairly supple. It's just basically still stained, but nothing more than that. And uh, just push this back down in here. And get those things to seat. Yeah, put it in with a nice, dirty screwdriver. Now, I'm sure somebody can tell. I've never done this before. <laughs> but I was aware of it. We need that to push through. I'll show you when I'm, I got it in. Yeah, it just get a little more aggravating. I just pushed in on the screwdriver and I broke this. Eh. Hello. You broke me. Black one's up next. Feels supple. Um, I'm gonna push it down till it's seated. Then I'm gonna take this ring and try to get it in there without destroying it. Okay, that's in. I used an 11 16 socket to push it in. 
and these things popped out so that they're holding against the plastic there. Should be in place. Hope this works. We're just going to go with one gasket instead of the two. It's supposed to pump gas through this hole here. I'm putting the brake cleaner in. And you can see it coming out of the main nozzle. Still nothing. Ah, uh, yeah. What do we got over here? Oh, yeah. Hey, look. It's another one of these. Oh, yeah. I threw it across the yard when I punctured another one. <laughs> I think I'm going to need to get a... Uh, new primer bulb but what we're gonna try last is um, two gaskets yeah same deal I know let's see if it starts up issue when you're going to start it. If it was mine and I was going to keep it, I wouldn't care, but I'm going to try to sell it. So I wish it was as easy as going down to Lowe's and getting a primer ball, but they sell that cheap Arnold crap and that stuff is the cheapest of the cheap. So I'll probably get a new primer bulb on uh, eBay and we'll have to see how that goes, I guess. Well, hello. Yeah, I bought um, like five of these off eBay for like eight bucks or something like that. They feel pretty supple. Um, I already put one in. All I did was uh, put a smearing of uh, mystery oil on my finger and made it so that it went in a little bit easier. And I used a, um, what did I use here? Three quarter inch socket to just push it in and it worked really well and it's seated now uh yeah i've been really half-assing this repair <laughs> i must say if this doesn't work yeah i gotta clean the damn carburetor but uh should everything's everything looks good yeah here we go again i just tried the primer and nothing came out Oh, you've seen me do this before. Yeah, I hate to say I think this carb should come off. It, um, it's sprayed in there, and there is all kind of backing up. It wasn't really going through. So, unfortunately, yeah, we're going to take it off. We'll take off the whimsical cover so it's easier to see. Manhandle it. Then get a good look at the uh, linkage. That's where the spring goes. Uh, yeah. Get that loose. Two three-eighths bolts, uh, three-eighths screws. Oh, of course it sounds like something fell. <laughs> oh, my new way. Too bad. All right. Funny little things. Okay, you just got to take this out of there. That's pretty easy. We'll see what we can do with this. Wipe all the junk off the outside first. 
Yeah, it's kind of too bad to have to do this. I mean, the carb works good. It's just a primer circuit. Turn it to half inch on the bowl. Full of gas. bang too hard on these things, these posts break. Yeah. Some pliers. Float. Little valve. a bath. Yeah, you know, you poke these things. I really don't know where they come out. But uh, I'm not seeing them come out anywhere. They're going in that far, at least that one. This one kind of goes in at an angle. Poke, poke, poke. And it's not like gunk coming out of anything or anything. It's the emulsion tube. See, that's nice and clear. That one doesn't want to come out. I'm going to blast everything through with air. And uh, see what happens. Alright, for this surface here, I'm kind of doing a figure eight pattern on some uh, light sandpaper. I don't know, it be like 400 or something, 800 maybe. Try to get it down to, uh, you know, any like residue that might be holding it away and not making a good seal. I did blow all the passageways through. Well, I'll kind of show you where they went because, uh, yeah, I didn't know. There's definitely air blowing through everything. Enough air? That I don't know. Okay, that one will blow down into here. So will this one. This one's a little harder to get a good seal on, but it seems to uh, also blow through here um, and sometimes up there. I can't really tell on that one, but uh, they seem to be clear. I gotta find out, hang on. Yeah, they all seem to lead to this, uh, to where the main jet is. Okay, blew all that out, ran the guitar strings through it, it's uh, freaking clean, come on, carburetor work, you drive me nuts. Let me just line that hole up, look at that, voila, like that, grab one of your weird looking bolts. They look pretty nasty. Let's clean those off a little bit. Yeah, I don't know if you can see, but I can see it's getting some gas in there now. Yeah, I'm not positive what it was, but I'm speaking too soon doesn't mean it's going to run.
pretty good starts right up first pull so I think it's good to sell hopefully it'll sell fast <laughs> 